Welcome. I'm Loretta Roland Kitley and Loretta Frank Roland Kitley. Let me add that in there. I am in the second day of the yoga challenge. This is for the American Cancer Society as well as for St. Jude's. So there are actually two challenges and I'm doing it together. Hopefully that's kosher, but I am doing at least 30 minutes of yoga every day. I am going to record it most days, but not all. When I teach my in-person classes, I will not be recording it. So um, I will be adding these on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel. So please subscribe if possible, please join and please donate to these wonderful, wonderful causes. So let's begin. Let's stand if you're not already standing. And let's shake everything out. Yesterday, I did just a long warm up that actually worked on our entire bodies. So, today we'll do a brief warm up and then we'll actually do sun salutations and a few other things. So, nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. We'll always focus on breathing. Up again, inhale, not up again, but let's come up inhaling. Exhale, reach and slowly lower down. You can come up on your toes if you want to, but you don't have to. Check the posture. Now up again, inhaling. Exhale, reach and come down. Now keep the feet flat on the floor. Bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale and stretch up from side to side at your own pace reaching and breathing, feeling the stretch of the sides of your body as you reach. I could do this all day. I love this posture. It's so good. Now, nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Another deep cleansing breath. Inhale up. Exhale, reach and lower just to the T position, palms down. We're gonna work on our midsection first, move up and then move down our body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, keeping the legs and hips stationary, rotate just the upper body to the left. Keep those abs in tight. Front, inhaling. Exhale, rotate just the upper body to the right. Front, inhaling. Exhale, arms forward, reach forward, pulling the shoulder blades apart. Go to the side so you see, and arms are in the parallel position. Then release and bring the arms back behind, clasp the fingers together, straighten the arms, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Keep those abs in tight, keep the chest open. And you may hold it here breathing or bend the knees, knees over the feet. Push out to the glutes as you're bent at the hips, head and neck, an extension of the spine. Arms can be low, high, or anywhere in between. Then straighten the legs, inhaling. Exhale, hold it here or arch back. Squeeze, jaw closed for a better stretch of the neck. And then release. Bring the shoulders up. Keep the shoulders back, but bring them up by the ears. Arms are relaxed. No neck. Then release. Long arms, long neck. Try to imagine touching the floor with the fingertips with those abs in tight. And the ceiling with the tops of your head. Then release. Bring the right arm up, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, stay in the same plane as you stretch to the side. Weight evenly distributed on both feet, abs in tight. Bring the right shoulder back as you reach up, look up, align the left shoulder and feel the stretch of the right side of your body. Breathe it. Up inhaling. Exhale, change sides. Check the posture, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen and stretch to the same, to the side on, on uh, 
the, this side, gosh, sorry, in the same man. Weight on both feet, abs in tight. Left shoulder back, reach up, look up, align the right shoulder and feel the stretch of the left side of your body. Breathe in. Up inhaling. Exhale both arms straight up. Check the posture, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, reach, lengthen, bend the knees. Knees over the feet. You'll be in this Utkatasana, fierce or chair pose. Keep the abs in tight. Push out through the glutes as you bend at the hips. Look up at the fingertips if you can. Don't forget to breathe. Then straighten the legs, inhaling. Exhale, reach up, lengthen, or arch back, reaching back. Jaw closed for a better stretch in the neck. Breathing. Then up, inhaling. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach, lengthen and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Check the posture again, nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Take another deep cleansing breath, inhale up. Exhale, reach and lower. Now bend the elbows as you roll the shoulders back. Great big circle. Loosening up the torso as you roll. And then straighten the arms for full range of motion. Breathing. And now check the posture again, nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Move your hips from side to side as you shake the arms out. Moving up your body now, your midsection should be pretty well warmed up, arms and shoulders pretty well warmed up. Now we'll do the head and neck. Keep the shoulders back and down. Lower the chin to the chest and keep those abs in nice and tight. Press it into the chest. Release. Heavy head roll over to the left shoulder. Keep those shoulders back and down. Check that posture throughout. If you have any kind of neck issues, only roll back and forth in the front. If not, jaw closed, heavy head throughout, roll to the back. Roll to the right shoulder. Check that posture. Always feel the stretch of the opposite side of the neck. Heavy head, center front, pressing the chin into the chest. Release, opposite direction now. Roll to that right shoulder. Check the posture throughout, abs in tight. Back if you can, jaw closed. Left shoulder. Don't forget to breathe. Center front, pressing the chin into the chest. Release. Center front, inhaling. Exhale, turn, look over the right shoulder. Keep those shoulders back and down. Inhale, look up to the right. Exhale, look down to the right. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Center front, inhaling. Exhale, turn, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, look up to the left. Exhale, look down to the right. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Center front, inhaling. Exhale on your own. Just turn your head from side to side. Try not to make any jerking movements. Roll the head on your own. But whatever you do in one direction, Make sure you do the same in the other as best you can. And then come back to the center. 
shake everything out, loosening up the body even more. Head, neck, upper torso, and arms should be pretty well warmed up. Let's shake those feet out too now. Shake them out as if you're shaking off water. And now we're going to put our hands on the front of our thighs, still working on the midsection, but starting to work on the lower part of our bodies too. Keep the shoulders back and down and the upper arms by the torso. Hands on the front of the thighs, head and neck, an extension of the spine. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend with the hips. Come forward, go to your limit. Nice flat back as best you can. Push out through the glutes as you bend at the hips. Go to your limit and hold it. Try to lengthen the spine. Don't forget to breathe. And then release and relax down. Head, neck, and arms relaxed. We keep those abs in nice and tight. Feet are parallel, no more than shoulder width apart. They can touch if you want, but they don't have to. Now keeping the legs and tips stationary, rotate the upper body to the right. Your fingertips can be on the back of the right thigh, calf, ankle, or on the floor or a block at the side of your body. Abs are in tight, breathing throughout. In a fluid motion, rotate over to the other side, keeping the legs and hips stationary. Fingertips on the back of the left thigh, calf, or ankle, or on the floor or blocks at the side of your feet. Breathing. Now come back to the center. Let your body just relax down, head, neck, and arms relax and then slowly round up. One vertebra at a time, keeping those abs in tight. Head, neck, and arms relax. And as the head comes up, bring the arms up in inhaling. Exhale and stretch from side to side at your own pace. Reaching and breathing. Again, feeling the stretch up the sides of your body. Keeping that upper body nicely warmed up. Now, shake out again. We'll do a little bit more warm up here for the lower part of our bodies. So have your feet out about twice the width of your shoulders. Hands on the waist or the hips. Feet are pointed mainly forward, but maybe slightly out if that fits your body well, because you're going to push the hips forward. You're going to roll to the left, bending that left knee. Roll to the back, straightening the legs, abs still in tight. Roll to the right and roll forward. Now opposite direction, roll to the right, roll back, roll to the left and roll forward. Back to the center, toes pointed outward, heels in. At about a 45 degree angle. You can keep your hands on your waist if you'd like or bring the arms up in hand. Exhale, reach, lengthen and lower to the T position, palms down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend that right knee right over that foot and lower down. Up in hand. Exhale, bend the left and lower down in the same manner. Up inhaling. Exhale, right again. You may repeat it or you may reach toward the floor. Keep those abs in tight throughout. Up inhaling. Exhale, left. Whatever you did on the right side, do on this side as well so our bodies are balanced. Up inhaling. Exhale, right again. You may repeat one or cross over, opening to the back, looking up, abs in tight. Try not to put real weight on the lower arm. Don't forget to breathe. Back to the T position, inhaling. Exhale and do the same on the left side of your body. Breathe.
T position, inhaling. Exhale, arms up. Check the posture, inhaling. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower again to the T position, palms down. I'm going to bring my feet in just a bit, but keep them at a nice 45 degree angle. Bend both knees, lowering the hips. You want your knees directly over the feet. Nice and tall, reach with those arms. Palms up now and slowly come up, inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, reach, lengthen, and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Walk the feet in. Shake your feet and your arms out. Now, we're just going to do a little bit of balance before we start doing sun salutations and perhaps a little more balance if we have time. Nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. I'm gonna have my hands on my waist. You can have yours on your hips or whatever feels appropriate for you. Focus on a spot in front of you that doesn't move. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring that right knee up in front of you. Rotate it to the side, lower to the side, inhale it. Exhale, bring it up to the side, rotate it to the front, and lower, inhale. Exhale, bend both knees, knees over the feet. Up, inhaling, left side now. Exhale, bring that left knee up in the front, rotate it to the side, and lower to the side, inhaling. Exhale, up to the side. Rotate it to the front and lower, inhale. Exhale, bend both knees. Up, inhale. Exhale, bring that right leg forward, point, flex, point, flex. Bring the leg out to the side. Leg is straight, foot is flexed, point, flex, point, flex. Bring it back behind, leg is straight, foot is flexed, tighten the glute, point, flex, point, flex, lower, inhale. Exhale, bend both knees. Up, inhale. Exhale, left side now. Oops, sorry, I need to focus on my spot. I hope you do. Bring that leg forward, leg is straight, foot is flexed, point, flex, point, flex. Bring that leg out to the side. Leg is straight, foot is flexed, point, flex, point, flex. Bring it to the back. Leg is straight, foot is flexed, tighten the glute, point, flex, point, flex. Lower, inhaling. Exhale, bend both knees. Up, inhale. Exhale, shake out. Move everything from side to side, and that's a nice warm up. And let's do a sun salutation. So, stand at the front of your mat, nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach, lengthen, or arch back, reaching back. Jaw closed for a better stretch on the neck. Don't forget to breathe. Up, inhaling. Exhale, stretch forward, bending at the hips. First, let the upper body just relax down. Abs are in tight, head, neck, and arms relax. Breathe. Now come into either Ardha Uttanasana with the fingertips on the floor beside the feet, trying to keep the legs as straight as possible. You can use blocks if you want to. You can modify by bending the knees if you need to. Or you can come into Uttanasana with the palms flat on the floor, only bending the knees if you need to. 
keep those abs in tight and breathe. Really try to keep the weight evenly distributed on the feet and legs if possible. Now bend the knees enough to slide the left and the right foot back, hip width apart, hips in the air, up on those toes or the balls of your feet, push the heels down, head between the arms, lengthen the torso and arms, rotate the shoulders down from the outside so that the triceps are somewhat facing downward. Push out through those glutes and breathe in this downward facing dog. You can always modify on your knees if you need to. Now lower the hips to a plank or a high hover position, high on those shoulders. Try to make sure the rear end's not sagging or sticking up as best you can. Head and neck and extension of the spine, breathing. Weight on the palms of the hands and toes. Now open to the right to a side plank. You can modify with that left or lower knee on the floor. You can have the heel of one foot up against the toes of the other, or you can stack your feet on top of each other. Whatever you choose, focus on your posture and your breathing. You can bring that top leg up if you want as well. If you want, you can lower the upper arm above the head. Bring it back up, inhaling. Exhale back down to a plank. Check that posture, make sure you're stable, and then open to the other side. Whatever you did on the other side of your body, try to do on this side as well. Focus on your posture and your breathing. You want to lower the upper arm above the head. Bring it back up, inhaling. Exhale back down to a plank. Check the posture. Bring the hips back up into the air. Up on those toes, push the heels down, lengthen. Again, come into that downward facing dog. And if you're not modifying on your knees, walk the dog. Keeping the toes on the floor, bend one knee as you push the other heel closer to the floor and switch up back and forth, walking your dog at your own pace, feeling the stretch up the back of your legs, breathing, keeping those abs in nice and tight. And then push both heels down. Lower your hips again to a plank or high hover position. Check that posture. And then bend the elbows and come down. Elbow or a low hover. You can always modify by lowering the legs to the floor if you choose, but try to stay high on those shoulders. Breathing, head and neck and extension of the spine. We're gonna go into a dolphin from here. So bring the hips up and walk the feet up. Head is between the elbows. Mine does not touch the floor, but some people's do. Feet are hip width apart. Push those heels down toward the floor, really bend at the hips and breathe in this dolphin posture. Abs in nice and tight.
walk your feet back, back to an elbow plank or a low hover. Then lower the quads and the tops of the feet to the floor into the elbow cobra. If you want, you can switch to a sphinx by placing the palms on the floor in front of you. Looking up, jaw closed for a better stretch in the neck. Stay high on those shoulders. Breathe. Now you may hold it here or palms on the floor beside the rib cage, elbows close to the body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale and come all the way up to a full cobra. High on those shoulders. Look up and breathe. Now bend the knees and up to plant the toes on the floor behind you. Pick the hips up into the air. Up on those toes, push the heels down, lengthen. Again, come into that downward facing dog. Abs in tight, breathing. Now, you may either walk your hands back towards your feet or lower the hips and up to slide the left and the right foot back up to where you started at the front of your mat into Ardha Uttanasana. You can modify with your fingertips on the front of your legs if you choose. Or you can also come down to Uttanasana, palms on the floor beside the feet, breathing. Now release the hold and just let the upper body relax down but keep those abs in nice and tight. You may round up one vertebra at a time as we did before. You can bend the knees as you come up if you modify or you can have the arms at your ears or your sides. Flatten the back as you slowly come up. Inhaling as you reach the top. Exhale, reach upward or arch back, reaching back. Up inhaling, exhale, prayer position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach, lengthen and lower the arms all the way down to the sides. Check the posture nice and tall, hips tucked under, shoulders back and down. Let's take a deep cleansing breath, inhale up. Exhale, reach and lower. Roll the shoulders back. Great big circles, loosening up the torso as you roll. Breathe, keeping those abs in tight. And then straighten the arms for full range of motion. And shake out, moving your hips from side to side. Shake your feet out. And actually, our time is almost up. Let's get down to the floor. I'm getting down without using my hands for support. If you need the support of your hands, use your resources. But seated stick posture, legs straight back, straight arms straight. Point the toes and flex the feet. Relax the feet. Release the hold, relax the hands on the thighs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees. 
and sit cross-legged, half lotus with one foot up on the thigh, or full lotus with both. Nice and tall. We're just going to breathe a little bit as we end our practice today. Nice and tall. Close your eyes. Let the shoulders relax down. Abs are in tight. Spine is long. Take a deep breath, inhaling through the nose, filling the lungs. And slowly exhale through the mouth, releasing everything from those lungs to make room for the next breath. Another deep breath in. Exhale and slowly lower. Another deep breath in. Exhale and lower. Now, look at your legs. You're nice and tall. Your abs are in tight. We're going to change and make our bodies balance by switching up. Whichever leg was on top, put on the bottom, or in front, put in the back. Nice and tall. We're going to do a very brief spinal, simple spinal twist. Left fingertips in front, right behind. Turn, look over that shoulder. Turn to the front, inhaling. Exhale and change side. Right fingertips in front, left behind. Turn, look over that shoulder. Breathe. Turn to the front, inhaling. Exhale and come back. Relax the fingers on the knees. The hands on the knees, nice and tall, abs and tight. We're going to take another deep breath in, inhaling through the nose, filling the lungs. Exhale and slowly let everything out through the mouth. Now bring the arms up, inhaling. Exhale, prayer position. Hold the position, inhaling. Exhale, and thank you very much for practicing with me. Namaste. I hope you feel better than when we started. I hope you got what you needed. And I also hope that you donate to this cause, one of the causes or both of the causes, if possible, to the American Cancer Society and or St. Jude's. They're both wonderful, wonderful charities that help people. So thank you so much. Namaste to everyone. Love and peace.